Alright, let's finish this door now. Um, let's get onto the side view. Let's continue this. So I'm going to go into wireframe. And just like we did with the front door, which, yeah. So I'm going to take all of these here, press shift and then D, and let's scale this down until we have the very top lining up like that. So I'm just scale this down till it's about in the middle of the blueprint line like that. And I'm going to scale it in the Y axis as well until the one on the left falls on it like that. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this. I'm going to move them manually to fall on the blueprint like that. Each and every single one. Just like we did with the front. Like that. So we have four in the middle here, which I think match up with these ones here. And this one should match up with that one. This with that, this with this, this with this, and this one with that one. Right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold up. I think this should come forward to here. So let's move this to here. And that one there, let's take all of these. Press W, loot tools, and choose space to give them equal spaces. Now I'm going to move this up to match up with this one here. And this one forward to match up with that one up there. I'm going to take this, press G, let's, let's move that up to here. Like that. Well, let me just let me slide this instead to position like that. Take this, slide that by pressing G twice, and move that also over there. Take this one, press G twice, slide that down a little bit. Do the same thing here, slide this down to match up with that one. And let me just press G here. Let me move this up here. I'm gonna move this all the way over here, I think. Let's just put in three loop cuts. I mean three vertices. Pull this down here. Pull this down here. And finally let's pull this down here like that. So that is looking good, but they're not falling on the blueprint line, so let's take care of that. Make sure each and every single one falls on the blueprint line. Like that. Nice. So that is looking good. Let's do the same thing with this side too. So let me just make sure all of these fall right underneath the uh, opposite vertices, like that. Do that for every single one of them. We have the right amount of vertices, so they should. All we have to do now is to just line them up. That's it, pretty much. So move this here, move this up here, move this here. The one lines up with the one right there. This one lines up with this. And this one lines up with the one up here. So let's take all of these, press W, loop tools, and choose space to give them equal spacing like that. Let's pull this up to here. Take all of this, pull it to here. And just bring this one down to there. And I'm going to take all of these, press period, change the pivoting point to active elements, press S and NY, and type in zero. And let's share this now to to there so it falls on the blueprint line like that yeah so all of that should follow all that we have to do now is to align them with their counterpart right here this one is almost there but I'll just slide that down a little bit slide this down to here take this slide that down to here and now we just have to move this around and just try to get this right so let me move this all the way here let me take this to delete them. Let me just put three in here just like we did with with the other side. Pull them onto the blueprint like that. So then again they're a little bit off the blueprint so let's just put them on it very nicely. Like that. Each and every single one. Like that. So we're gonna take this to and press F. And let's press control and R and I in five loop cuts. I'm just going to put one more here, or one more in the middle of each, on either side. Same with this side, and that side. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Let's put one up here as well, to match with them, like that. And I'm going to put one over here as well. So let's take these four, press F, take these two and press F once. Take this one, 
press F all the way like that to the very bottom here like that so when we get here let me see let me just press Ctrl and R3 here let me pull this down so like this slide this down like that take these four and press F alright so I'm going to take all of these press S and N Z and type in 0 do the same with this side S and N Z type in 0 like that alright that is looking good <coughs> I just have to press Ctrl and R3 here press E and then F I'm going to move that in close like that alright so I'm just trying to create a wrap around so I'm going to take all of these press period let's change the active element I mean the pivoting point to boundary box press E and then S and let's scale this out to match it on the sides there and let's pull it down like this so let me just scale this in the y axis like that and that should be good I'm just going to scale it down and pull it up a little bit more like that scale it again in the y axis like that and let's take these four press F let's take these four as well and press F alright that is looking good I'm not sure if what I'm doing is right though. Okay, it's right. It's it's accurate. All right. I just use the ruler to check if they're on the same line, and they are. So, let's move on. Um, let me see. I want to press Control and R three here. Let's add in. I don't know two, just two loop cuts through that whole area, and um. Let me just take all of these over here. Right, all of these. Um, let me go into wireframe instead. Let me just draw over it like that. And we're going to insert the faces to create a boundary going around it. Okay. So just press I to insert it like that. So you can see what I mean. You can see what I'm doing right now. And when we do that, we're just going to bring this up and put off boundary. Okay. Okay. So that affects them all. So we just re enable boundary again. We're going to have to do this manually. So let me pull this down. Let's move up here this is what we have to fix the top here is what I didn't want to insert so um, I think the best idea will be this undo the insertion okay and let's take all of the edge loops around here take all of these and including the one up here extrude it in the X axis back here okay just extrude it back here and let's take let's hide that all right let's get onto the side view so we just hit that, let's get onto the side view. Let's take all of these again. Let's take all of the ones that we took initially, like that. Press Alt and H, deselect this one, deselect all of it. And just press I to insert the, the, the faces again, like that. Okay, insert it just a little bit, about there, I think. Now let's insert it some more. So let's just insert it to about here. Make sure the space is a little bit bigger than it was before. So I think that is good. Yeah, now let's insert it again. Uh, you got rid of the options there. Yeah, like that. And I'll put a boundary. This time it should take care of the top only, not the ones on the side because we extruded this to the back here. So this side is not a boundary anymore, only the top here. Alright, nice. Now put that off. So it's off now. So let's take the ones on the back now and delete the vertices. Okay, we only needed it for that and we did it. So we just have to arrange things here a little bit to look more nicer. Let's let's do that right now. So I'm just gonna get to the side view. Let's arrange things here so they look more nicer. Right now they're looking very bad. I'm gonna pull this back and then up. Pull this back here and then up. Let's take this two. And let's pull that. Let's pull it back. Pull this back a little bit like that. And let's pull this back as well. Nope, that one. Pull it back. Let's pull this up and then slightly in there. There's one here and that one up there. We pull this in, we press C and let's pull that up here. Pull this up here, take all of these, press G twice, and let's slide it up here to there. Yeah. And what else? Take this one, slide it here, and slide it back in here. And let's slide this up, slide it back in here. So they're matching very nicely like that. Alright. Pull this up here. Alright, so I think that is looking good. We have that thing going around it just the way we wanted it. On this side, 
This side I'm not sure though. We have a little bit of a problem, so I want to take all of these and hide it. And let's take these and let's pull it in a little bit more again. So to there, and press Alt and H. Yeah, so that should be good. I'm just going to take this press G twice, let's slide it down. Take these, press G twice, and let's slide that up. So that should be good. The gap here is too big, but we'll keep it. It's not bad. We'll keep it. It's not really going to make a major difference or something. So we'll just keep it there. But if you want, you can pull it back. You, all you have to do is just pull this side, these vertices. You just have to pull it back, and then you can pull that one back. But I'm not going to do that. So if you want, you can do it. All right, so we have our thing going around it. And I think we have some on this one too. Yeah, we have it. So with that, with that now, hold on. This one has it attached to it. So I think we should do the same thing here. Yeah, let's do the same thing here. Let's take, let's take, let me go into wireframe. Let's take all of these here, okay? And let's pull it back. So it's almost on it. Like that. And I'm going to take these two vertices here. One and two. No. One and two, press X. And delete those vertices. Let's go into solid mode. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might actually help. Or not. I'm not so sure. You know, let's keep it. Let's keep it like this. I wanted to pull it back, but I'll keep it like that. All right, let's move on to this side now. So let's see. This should be the wrap around edge loop. So let's pull that to kind of get close to. It. So I'm just going to take this this whole loop cut here. Press G twice, and then press E, and then F, and then let's just align it with the outer area. Let me do that again. E, and then F. Align it with the outer area like that. Oh, that is bad. All right, let's let's just keep it like this. Let's just keep it the way it is. So that was very bad. I'm gonna take all of these now. I'm just slide them back to to here. Yeah. So just manually move it back to there. Let me just press Control and R through here. G twice, let me just slide this back to to here. Take this four and press F and take this four and press F like that. Let's do the same thing over here. Pull that all the way here. Take these four, press F, take these four and press F. Let's take everything and press shift and N to recalculate the normals like that. So um control in R3 here, let's move this back. Align it with this one. Take these two, press F. Take these two and press F. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. Yeah, so take these two F. These two F. Alright, so we're gonna have this one match with this one. So we're gonna press Ctrl and R3 here. Take these two, press F twice, like that. And let me see. This one is going to match with this one. So, let's see what happens if I dissolve this edge here. Alright, so let's dissolve that one. And let's take these four and press, no, hold up. There's a, yeah, so let's, let's add in a loop cut through here instead. First, like this. And, still need one over here. That will go all the way down here. Which isn't good news. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of these. And I'm going to pull them back. To match up with this area instead. Pull this back to here. And I'm going to do about the same thing with this one. Pull this back. And pull it back here. And. Let me just pull this. Over here. To the top. Like that. Let me see if I can knife this to the top here. Why does it do that? Like that. And how do we get rid of this triangle here? Okay, we can get rid of it by adding in another look at three years. So let me just take this press no hold up. Um 
you see. Okay, let me let me knife this. Let me knife this from here to the very. Why does it do that? Let me slide this up to about to about here, like that. And I'm gonna knife this. No knife. I'm gonna knife it from here to the very end here. And enter. And let's see what do we do. Let me merge this to that one. Let me say at last, or maybe if I can. You know, let's get rid of it. Let's undo everything. Let's keep things where they are. And let's keep the triangle there for now. If we have to fix it, we will. Let's keep it there. So let's continue. I'm just going to take all of this. Press G twice, let's match it up with this. Press Ctrl and R through here. So this one matches up with that one. I'm going to add one through here to match up with this one. Let me just let me slide this whole thing to match up with that one. Slide this whole thing to the center here. Press Ctrl and R here and here. And let's move on to this side. Slide this all the way here. Ctrl and R here and here. Uh, let me see. I'm going to take this slide it forward to match up with this one. Press Ctrl and R through here. Add one through here as well. Press Ctrl and R through here. Um, let's add one through here. Let's dissolve these edges and put only one in there. And I'm going to put one in here as well. Let's put one in here. So let's fill these faces and see where this takes us. So press F all the way to there. And do the same thing here. F all the way there. So yeah, this works nicely. I mean, this worked nicely. So it filled it very nicely for us. Alright. So let's get into the side view. We're going to take all of these ones now, all of these over here, let's go into wireframe, make sure we selected everything like that, get back to solid, let's bring back the body guide, press G because we already have face snapping mode on face, so press G hold control, and press enter so let's hide that again hide it, and let's do what we did here with this one because you can see it's obviously there, so let's take all of this, get into side view we're gonna press F. Let me just say real quick. We're gonna press F like that. Let's go into wireframe and let's press I to insert the faces. Okay, so we're gonna insert it to halfway. Look at the blueprint down here. Okay, halfway here, just like we did with the front. And we're gonna pull everything up to match. Let me see. So G and N Z, pull that up to match up with it. Like, just leave a little bit of a gap like that. Let's see, yeah, so that, that is pretty close to this side as well. So what I'm going to do now is press X and delete the faces. So that is good. So we're going to take all of this. Let me get to this side here. And um, let me just make this one the active element. Okay, so press period and change the, active, uh, the pivot point to active element. Let's go into front view. All right, so this view is already there for us, so it should aid us in making this okay so press s and then x and type in zero all right so we're going to share this until we have it just like this one so press ctrl alt shift s and then y and then share this until it falls let me go into wireframe okay so i think this is where it falls okay this is the the thick line you're seeing on the front door here that's what we're going to share it to so we're going to share it to the same place so just share it like that okay so it falls on it just like the front area. Let's get over here and remove this from the vertex group very nicely like that. Press object and choose shade smooth to shade it very smoothly. So one more thing before we continue. I think I want to move this up a little bit. So let me go into wireframe and let me scale this in or towards it just a little bit like that. So that is good. So scaling towards it and that is that is okay I guess. No, this is not in the middle, so here's what we're going to do instead. Let's take these two, press shift and S and choose Kessel to select it. Let's undo it until we have those ones selected again. And let's change the pivoting point to, um, what do you call it, 3D Kessel. Alright, now let's scale it now until this falls right on a blueprint line like that. Alright, let's get onto front view. 
okay so now you can see much is much more this is where it was before and this is where it is now so that is much better that is way much better than what we initially had now let's pull this let's pull this in a little bit first okay I forgot we didn't pull it in let's pull it in a little bit first okay and with that let me take these two again and choose Keza to select it let's take all of these let me see yeah, so it's pulled in a little bit like that just like we wanted it let's go over to the front view let's share this again until it falls on it because as you can see it shifted again so control alt shift s and then y and then let's just share this till it falls on it like that all right that should be good I think that's what we did with the front door as well. Let me take a look. Let's get a quick look. Okay, we didn't exactly pull it back, but wait, did we? This is it. Yeah, we did. We did pull it back a lot. We pulled it back a lot. Let me see. Maybe did I pull this back enough? Let's pull it back about the same thing as the one on the front door. So I think here is good. Let's go back into front view again. Let's change the pivoting point to active element. Let's go into wireframe. And let's share this to match it up again. Well, it is matched up. What do you know? Alright. So we're going to keep it there. And now finally we're going to extrude this in the Y. I uh, know in the X axis to the back here. Let's make sure it is in the same amount as this one. So G and an X. Move it back to there. Let me see. Let me move this forward. Now we're going to share it so it falls on this one as well. So just share it in a Y until it falls on it very nicely. Like that. Alright. That is looking good. So I'm going to move over here. Press Ctrl and R through here. Press E to align it with this side. Let's move it over here. So let me, let me press Ctrl and R through here as well. Press E. Let's pull that up to here and let's remove this from the vertex group. Alright, let me take a quick look over here. Alright, we have one more in the middle. So press Ctrl and R2 here, put it in the middle. Take all of these and remove it from the vertex group. Very nice. So that is looking good. That is looking very good. So we have exactly what we have on the front door and the back door. So basically we finished all that area. Okay. So what we're going to do next in the next video, because I, I want to end this video here right after we rename everything what I want what I want us to do in the next video is if you if I change the image real quick I want to show you guys something let's change it to this one so you can see there's a hole for the hinges here on both sides so we're going to be cutting that out on both sides like this and it's going to be a little bit pro problematic since we've already solidified this sides on okay we've already solidified this so it means we're going to have to take I don't know maybe just do something then trying to put the solidify there manually or delete the whole solidify and do the whole thing again but I think I'm gonna do it manually that would be best because adding the solidify I think it took us a while so we'll do everything manually in that case but since this one doesn't have a solidify so its own is gonna be quite easy because we haven't solidified it yet so that is what we'll be doing in the next video for now let's just rename the other stuff we're gonna rename everything that we've created in here that don't have a an appropriate name so let's let's begin with is it this one yeah I think it's this one but yeah this this one okay so let's rename this just click in here oh this is the front door so this is the front door let's just type in front and underscore doors like that now let's take this one let's rename this as well rare doors like that now finally this one is hidden so let's bring back let's bring that back let's rename this as well um main or should i say main body frame all right so that 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 is the main body frame that one is like a uh, the main fixed frame the fixed frame that cannot be taken off the car
cannot be removed unless you kind of chop it off or something yeah so that one is the main frame so you can see everything is coming together when you take a look everything is working out very nicely and I'm pretty sure once we finish this it will look good so in the next video we we'll just solidify this whole piece here and move on to what's next and yeah I'm just gonna save this over just making sure there's nothing else to do I don't think there is nothing else to do alright it's looking good so far so I'll see you guys in the next video where I said we'll be creating the holes for the hinges and solidifying the doors so I'll see you guys in the next video